Hey, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Hector. I'm an artist uh, from Orlando, Florida. Uh, this is my first time uh, doing a video for YouTube. So uh, I would like to introduce myself. But anyways, I, the, one of the reasons I created this channel is because uh, um, I, I've been painting in isolation for a very long time. And, uh, you know, I, I find it very difficult, just like many artists, to, you know, step out of my comfort zone and, and share my work. But I, I feel that, uh, you know, if you're going to put the energy and effort to create, then it has to be shown the light. <laughs> but anyways, um, I've been painting for about 20 years and uh, I've uh, explored different uh, types of uh, art movements and styles. And, uh, you know, I experiment and try just to, as the old cliche, uh, to create a voice for myself. Um, and uh, that was pretty interesting. Um, one of the uh, uh, art movements that I was really, really enthralled with was uh, the like you know the artist like uh, Francis Bacon, which is more of a dark form of uh, art that's very visceral. And uh, and 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 you know art like that is is very personal um, because you're really digging deep into you know your past and. You know emotions so you know i, I was creating uh, artwork like that and i i really enjoyed it um i'm not gonna get into the history right now as to why maybe in another video but anyways i, I for a while i was uh, creating works like that and i really enjoyed it i used to exhibit at uh, you know uh the local galleries and had some sales um and so forth um but really you know a lot of uh, like, like a lot of the work was so personal that um, it really affected me emotionally. Um, but anyways, I, I went through an incident where my, uh, um, you know, significant person in my life uh, got ill. And uh, I found it extremely difficult one day to just paint, you know. Uh, it, it, I mean, when I held on to... A, you know, brush, it, it just felt like it weighed like 100 pounds to me. I, I really could not get myself to do anything. And, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, you know, I was like that for an entire week, but I felt that I really needed to create. And so one day I said, well, you know what? I Obviously, I can't um, work on... Uh, material that or, or artworks that that were so emotional to me but I still needed to do something because I just felt this desire to create so I just grabbed the canvas went to the garage and just started doing something colorful you know just for the sake of doing something really um, but one of the things that I've noticed in uh, doing that is that it really lifted me up emotionally I, I I really don't know what it is, but I think maybe it has something to do with the colors. And maybe the, there was no theme attached to the image that I was creating, you know, th that was uh, very personal and traumatic to me. And so from that point on, I, I just started doing, you know, works that, you know, were colorful. And uh, I, I guess if, you know, for a better um, for lack of a better word, I guess I was creating works that were, you know, whimsical. But to me, eh, you know, whimsical is, I don't know, there's something that I find weird about labeling works of art as whimsical. But I get it. But anyways, I, I, I really got into it. And uh, after that, I, I started sort of uh, experimenting Again, you know, what kind of images that I wanted to create and so forth. But uh, I remember one time, uh, you know, I, I was watching a commercial on uh, about a tabl tablet, uh, a drawing tablet. I, I can't remember the name of, I, I think it's Wacom or something like that. But anyways, my wife ended up buying me a tablet for, uh, it's one of those tablets that you connect to your, uh, you know, like um, your laptop or a monitor and uh, you could draw um, uh, by creating uh, you know these dip digital images the only the, the uh, obviously the the weird thing about trying to do that for the first time is that you know you know your hand and eye coordination you got to kind of sort of adjust to it because you have your hand placed in 
you know, one spot of the t- of uh, the desk or table and then your eye on the screen. But anyways, I, I really enjoyed that method of creating. And so I started really combining these uh, colorful images that I was creating uh, through digital uh, media. Uh, I never really uh, had a positive view of of creating digitally because I don't know. To me, it just—I I guess being a purist, to me, it just didn't feel right. You know, if you don't have your hands dirty at the end of the day, I, I guess that's what all artists think. You know, that if you don't have your hands dirty at the end of the day, or you have them, <laughs> and not necessarily meaning that you got to be dirty, but I, I guess there's this. Um, how do you say this? This notion of of not, well, not using paint or, or material. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I guess, yeah, a good example. Like using, if not using materials, not being something that is equal, equal to creating art, you know. But, you know, ever since I've been doing this style, I, I've really changed my mind about it. I, I really enjoy doing it and it actually uh surprisingly enough it has taken my uh creativity to another level really because I, i've been able to do things that normally i would have never thought of so yeah i i create these images that are very colorful i like uh, you know and, and over time i started to manipulating the the faces of uh the the characters um that i was creating um what i started doing is uh i started fi- looking for uh, source materials on lines of uh women obviously uh, sometimes models and i mean i didn't want to create a likeness of those images so i started really uh manipulating the 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 dimensions of 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 or of the face you know, like making the eyes bigger, uh, the head wider, giving a sort of a weird look because I, I, I thought that uh, it would, you know, I figured, well, it would be interesting to see how these images would look if I, I manipulated them. And um, I, w- I was pretty satisfied with it. You know, I really like the way they look, you know. So, and I mean, as, as you can see from this uh, uh, current image that I'm creating, um, I, 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 I started adding a lot of colors like I heightened the, the color and the vibrancy um, and again just using this technology to actually uh, find these source materials to actually manipulate them so that they could be applicable to the work um, just makes the work overall very interesting to me to me but you know, I, I'm pretty sure some people might have objections to it, but hey, you know, it, it is art. Uh, everybody can uh, create whatever they want. But uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, you know, and, and I still continue to uh, create these images. I really love it. Um, I do it for the sake of doing it because I, I really enjoy it. You know, it just gives me this level of uh, uh, mental release and uh, um, it's very uplifting to me. Um, but uh yeah if, i mean if you're a person that's an artist and you and you know you're just accustomed to painting and and uh using uh materials i, I highly uh, recommend uh trying uh, the, the digital media format uh because perhaps it'll uh, you know it, it, it might take your 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 work to a level that um perhaps you never thought of before but uh anyways just to cut a uh, a long story short and i you know um i i just wanted to share my uh artwork and introduce myself and uh this is one of perhaps i hope many videos that i can create in the future and uh yeah uh, you know hit that like button and uh um from time to time uh, uh come by and see what what new uh um I- ideas i i put out there and i'll uh try to share um uh, some more information with you. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, I see you soon in the future. Bye.